Good evening. Welcome to Current Affairs. Today is November 20th, 2015. Today I would like to discuss with you with respect to 7th Pay Commission. Before I go further, I would like to tell you all what exactly is the 7th Pay Commission. Basically, the concept of Pay Commission in India was first originated during the time of British and the first Central Pay Commission in India was set up in the year 1946. 1946, India was still under the clutches of the British and it was the beginning of the Pay Commission and so far, so far we have constituted seven Pay Commissions and the present one is the seventh Pay Commission which is headed by Justice A.K. Mathurs. What exactly is the purpose of the Pay Commission? Pay Commission, in fact, it will give the recommendations. In various classes, I was telling you, wherever you are coming across with the word Commission, Commission is always a recommending authority and ultimate decision will be taken by the government of the day. So today there is a government at the central level and this commission has submitted the reports or rather the recommendations to the finance minister of India, Mr. Arun Jaitley. And whatever the recommendations that are given, these recommendations are going to be implemented from January 1st, 2016 onwards. But what exactly is this, first of all? This commission will give the recommendations for pay hike, pension hike, to the people. Pension means this is for the people who are already retired. So depending on the necessities, so as the days will go on, years will go on, the prices will also increase. So this is the responsibility of the government to provide the dignity to each and every employee. For the reason to have a better dignity of life, a person has to earn a good amounts of money which is suitable to the present market conditions. That's the reason why periodical pay revisions will take place and those revisions will happen on the recommendations that are given by the pay commission. So yesterday, November 19th, 2015, the 7th pay commission has submitted the recommendations. Now I am going to show you those recommendations. So this is going to cost a lot for the government but even then you are expected to go ahead with respect to the recommendations of the 7th Bay Commission. Now I will open the document and I will tell you what exactly are the recommendations. Now let me open the document. Look at this. This is the 7th Bay Commission. One possible question is this, who is the chairman of 7th Bay Commission? Answer is Justice A.K. Mathurs. I mean submitted its recommendations to the Finance Minister of India <coughs> sorry, on November 19, 2015. The recommendations to be implemented from January 1st, 2016. Kindly see here, out of this anything may be a question. In the examination, one possible question, maybe at the lower level in the examinations, one possible question is that, who is the chairman of the 7th Bay Commission? Just now I told you, it is Justice A.K. Mathurs. Number two. Another possible question for little higher level examinations is that, from when these recommendations are going to be implemented? And the answer is that, January 1st, 2000. 16, right? But <clears throat> with respect to the examinations like the UPSC, either these questions, what I told you, they may be asked, or more importantly, especially for the main examinations, main examination, what are the recommendations? And what is the impact of those recommendations? That is very important. As I told you so many number of times, 
UPSC requires and it will test the ability of the candidate in analysis and for the reason I am going to show you the same recommendations as it has been submitted to the government of India by the 7th pay commission I will try to remember this and if you want to analyze any of the points now you are at a stage all the students who are there with me in the July batch of IAS 2016 so now you are in a capable position of analyzing each and every point so I will show you the points and you please analyze each and every point if there is anything very very important I am going to elaborate on that point is that clear? now let me open the document have a look at this so what are the recommendations look at this 23.55 percent increase in the pay and allowances has been recommended by this commission and minimum pay fixed at rupees 18,000 rupees per month whereas the maximum pay it will be the 2 lakhs 25,000 rupees so meaning at the highest level in the country we have a gentleman and the designation is the cabinet secretary as i was telling you in various number of classes the cabinet secretary is the senior most ias officer in the country very very powerful one he is sitting always sitting beside the prime minister and the prime minister seeks advices from the cabinet secretary and that cabinet secretary very soon he is going to get 2 lakhs 25,000 rupees clear very very huge and of course huge at the same time he deserves because the amount of work he takes up the load he takes up and the amount of problems the number of problems he will provide the solutions to the government especially to the prime minister of india the cabinet secretary deserves it that is here I was telling you in various number of classes at the state level at the topmost level you have a person and the designation is the chief secretary chief secretary is the senior most IAS officer at the state level and cabinet secretary is the senior most IAS officer at the national level and all all of you who are preparing for the civil service examination kindly remember sometimes I will see the people <clears throat> sometimes I'll see the people they'll say that sir we want to write the examination next year why next year why not this time so meaning this is a habit of postponing the writing the examination somebody will say 2016 the moment we reaches 2016 they will postpone it to 17 18 like this the years will pass up but for all the serious candidates who are there with me I request to all to write the examination at the earliest earliest means the coming examination is that the advantage is that at an early age if anybody enters into the civil services and if you become an IAS officer there will be more possibilities for you to reach to the level of the cabinet secretary which is the most most prestigious and most powerful position in India in the administrative hierarchy that's the reason why please prepare very seriously for the examination and try to enter into the service at the earliest am I clear this is one advantage again I am going to open the document please have a look at this I expect you to remember this one very important the rate of annual increment retained at 3% and there will be 24 percent hike in the pensions clear we are talking about the OROP is it okay that is one rank one pension look at this one rank one pension proposed for the civilian government employees in the lines of the war OP for the armed forces Our, our army personnel they fought like anything and finally they got the OROP okay but of course not much to what exactly they wanted but still ORP is going to be implemented at the earliest 
and the seventh pay commission recommended for the even for the civilian government employees OROP will be implemented. Look at this. Ceiling of gratuity, gratuity enhanced from 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs. Look at this. Cabinet secretary to get 2.5 lakhs. 2.5 lakhs as against the, this is 2.25. As against the 90,000 per month pay and which, which is being paid to him currently. Very important one. The financial impact of implementing the recommendations will be 1 lakh 2000 crores. It's a huge, huge burden on the government. Still, still the government has to go ahead. Look at this. Out of this more than 1 lakh crores, 73,650 crores will be borne by the central budget. And the rest of the money, 28,450 crores will be borne by railway budget what is this i was telling you while i was talking to you regarding the budget if any one of you have not seen the budget please watch that video budget in india we have two types of budgets general budget and the railway budget and each budget is going to <coughs> spend so much of money higher money will be through general budget and 23,000 crores plus will be through the railway budget. Look at this. Um, again, open the document. Look at this again. The total impact of commission's recommendation is to raise the ratio of expenditure on the salary and wages to the GDP gross domestic product by 0.65 percentage to 0.75 percent little increase similarly military service pay which is the compensation for the various aspects of military service will be admissible to the defense forces personnel only this is another important point especially for the civil services please look at this military service pay for service officers more than doubled to rupees 15,500 per month from 6,000 currently. Currently, it is only rupees 6,000. It has been increased to 15,500 rupees. For nursing officers, from 4,200 to 10,800. For JCOs, it has been increased from 2,000 rupees to 5,200 rupees. And for the non combatants it will be from 1000 to 3600 rupees is it okay another important point have a look at this the sharp service commissioned officers will be allowed to exit the armed forces at any point in between seven years and ten years of service so between these years they can quit and the commission recommends the abolition of the 52 elements and another 36 elements subsumed in existing elements are in newly proposed <coughs> elements. Can you remember? Abolition of the 52 types of elements. The recommendations will impact so many people in the country. 47 lakh serving government employees and 52 lakh pensioners, including the defense. Am I clear? Now. Look at this. What is pay commission? I told you already. Look at the point. A pay commission recommends the government regarding the pay revisions. Look at this. The first pay commission was set up in the year 1946. Maybe a possible question. It is because today we are discussing about the seventh pay commission. Because we are talking about the pay commission, the first pay commission may also be a question. For your information, I have given here. What is the number of the pay commission and who was the chairman? Look at this. For first pay commission, it was Srinivasa Varadachari. Try to remember the names. Now, see here basically why I would like to give these uh, names of the chairmen. Altogether, seven names. Altogether, seven names, including the current one. Why I am telling you is that 
previously in the civil service examination these questions were asked like this match the following on one side pay commission number third fourth fifth sixth like that on the other side some names are given and we are asked to match the pay commission with the concerned chairman that's the reason why i have given this one this is already up to, uh, uh, this uh, updated in the our app kindly look at that now look at this look at this first pay commission chairman was srinivasa varadachari and the second pay commission chairman was jagannath das see here. so i would like to remind you one thing i told you already that we are going to launch a new batch for the ias 2016 on december 21st if anybody wants to join kindly join at the earliest okay so because the number of seats may be filled up at the earliest that is the reason why all serious candidates who are aspiring for the year 2016 you may join immediately and the rest of the people who are planning for 2017 you may decide later if you join the next batch also it's not an issue but one important thing for me is that you should follow the current updates whatever i am providing to you on day to day basis now now let me open the document once again look at this first pay commission was srinivasa varadachari second pay commission was jagannath das and third pay commission was raghuveer dayal fourth pn singhal fifth justice ratnamel pandian this one justice bn srikrishna and the latest one as you already know and i told you this name so many number of times even in the previous classes also and this gentleman is justice ak mathur is it okay right so i would like to say one thing whatever the points i have shown you it is already updated in our current affairs app okay and i told you already to download that app please read the points and i, I would like to just remind <clears throat> whatever the current affairs that are related to november starting from day number 1 till today all the uh, current affairs notes is uploaded in the app so please watch that very frequently go through this so that you will be remembering those points for a longer period of time number 1 number 2 so once we reach december 31st i'll be just removing the november current affairs there is no necessity for you so we need one complete month current affairs will be there with you every time am i clear now that's about the seventh pay commission and please read from our app and i'll stop at this stage tomorrow i'll be meeting you with some other news some more news and i thank you each and every one to be with me this evening and i wish you all the very very best good night